Assalamualaikum. Hi everyone. So today we're going to learn chapter 10, Correlation and Regression. So in this chapter, we're going to learn correlation, how strong a relationship between two variables, and regression, how one variable affects the other. Just before we start, let's recall back what are variables. The first one, independent variable or explanatory variable. An independent variable is the variable the experimenter controls. Basically, it is the component you choose to change in an experiment. This variable is not dependent on any other variables. The second one is dependent variable or response variable. A dependent variable is the measurement that changes in response to what you change in the experiment. This variable is dependent on other variables, hence the name. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to solve and interpret the coefficient of correlation and solve and interpret the coefficient of determination. Let's learn how to solve and interpret coefficient of correlation. Correlation Correlation is a statistical measurement of the relationship between two variables. Example, if we have temperature as independent variable and the number of sales as dependent variable, as the temperature went up, the number of sales went up. What is coefficient of correlation? Coefficient of correlation is a numerical value which measures the strength or degree of the linear relationship between two variables, which is given by R equals to N. N is the number of paired observation, namely X and Y, times with summation of X, Y minus summation of X times with summation of Y divided with the square root and inside of our square root, it's going to be n times with summation x squared minus the square of summation x. Be careful with these two difference. Then, it's going to be n times summation y squared minus the square of summation y. The correlation coefficient has values varies from positive 1 to negative 1 inclusively both values or absolute value of R less than or equals to 1. Interpretation of coefficient of correlation R A correlation between variables indicates that as one variable change in value, the other variable tends to change in the specific direction. If R equals to 0, this indicates X and Y has no correlation. If R equals to 1, this indicates X and Y has perfect positive linear correlation. If R is negative 1, this indicates X and Y has perfect negative linear correlation. If R is between 0 and 0 0.4, this indicates X and Y has weak positive linear correlation. If R is between 0 0.4 and 0 0.8, this indicates X and Y has moderate positive linear correlation. If R is between 0 0.8 and 1, this indicates X and Y has strong positive linear correlation. If R is between negative 0 0.4 and 0, this indicates X and Y has weak negative linear correlation. If 
R is between negative 0.8 and negative 0.4. This indicates X and Y has moderate negative linear correlation. If R is between negative 1 and negative 0.8, this indicates X and Y has strong negative linear correlation. As the conclusion, you can use this statement to interpret the coefficient of correlation R. Now, let's learn how to solve and interpret the coefficient of determination. Coefficient of determination is the square of the coefficient of correlation, where R squared is between 0 and 1 inclusively. So, if you have coefficient of correlation R, all you have to do is to square your R. How to interpret coefficient of determination? R squared percent of the total variation in Y is explained by the variation in X. 100 minus R squared percent of the total variation in Y is explained by other factors. All you have to do is to substitute your R squared, X and Y with your own values. So